guys everybody my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about the sequel to Dear Martin Dear Justice by Nick Stone so I read Dear Martin earlier this year and I was completely blown away by it I just really love the way that Nick Stone just like the way that she writes it just feels so realistic like she really captured the voice of justice I feel like so I was really excited to get into Dear Martin because where Dear Justice was at about a boy who had more opportunities he was going to go to a great school, Ivy League bound, all that kind of stuff. This is a story about a boy named Laquan Banks. He was in the first book as well. And you might remember him because he murdered a cop and is now in jail. This is the story of him basically trying to find a way to keep going. It's not quite as dark as all of that, but the main like beats of the story, like the main theme that Nick Stone is trying to get you to understand is that having somebody believe in you makes all the difference. You see Quan throughout his life kind of reflecting not only on how he got to this point, but also when he's writing to justice. Like he tried so hard to do the best that he can. He was traumatized from a very early age when he saw his father get arrested by cops. And from then on, he he tried to do what he could for his siblings. He tried to, you know, do well in school and be a good person, but one by one, as the years were going by, it just got harder and harder and harder, and people just never expected him to be anything. And one day, it just kind of got him. And he's like, you know what, if nobody's ever going to expect anything of me, why should I keep trying? I think this story was so beautiful. Nick Stone captured the voice of Quan just so perfectly. It really moved me. Like every page, I was just so moved by what was happening. And I was really struck by the author's note at the end where she said that this was the hardest book that she's ever written, even though it is like completely fictional. She completely made up, you know, everybody in this book, the case, everything like that but it's also still real. Like this stuff really does happen. She meets with these kids. She's met boys like this. She's met girls like this. She knows this story. So that kind of stuff is real. But she said the most fictionalized part of this book was the support system that she created for Quan. Quan is really able to kind of keep going and like keep that hope alive because of the people that starts to come into his life. It does start with justice, but from there he meets an amazing teacher. He gets a good therapist. He's able to get a good lawyer. Like he does get all these people that surround around him that truly do believe in him, that allow him to believe in himself and pick himself back out of the situation that he had kind of fallen into. And she said it's so devastating because that was the most fictional part of the story. Because most of the time, kids in this situation don't get the benefit of the doubt. They're going to go to jail and then they're going to be like locked away for most of their adult lives because people don't believe in them, people don't care about them. And honestly, reading this book made me so angry because just seeing the way that like his amendment rights were completely disregarded the way he's sitting and waiting for a trial like it makes me want to do something like if anything like nick stone just makes me feel so passionate i really do feel like dear justice is a must read even if you haven't read dear martin you could pick this up and it's gonna make sense like we do get back into it with justice uh you are going to see kind of what happened towards the end of his story but you could read them both on their own and I really think it's amazing that Nick Stone has given a voice to this character, to these types of people. And I think it's a story that really needs to be experienced. So I am giving Dear Justice an A+. And please, I am begging you, go and check it out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.